You ever know you make a mistake? Yeah. I decided to drive, just drive Little Blue down to the shop to pick up a load of lime. Yeah, we are driving back at about 8 miles an hour. Yeah, this is going to take all day. Let's get to it. Ooh, we're going downhill. We're breaking a land speed record in this thing. Yeah, this thing, uh, it's a little underpowered for this much weight. You see that the fertilizer spreader is actually higher than Little Blue. Well, we're going to get Little Blue back. I'm going to get limed, and hopefully we can get to harvesting. There we go. Shut them off. So I got a lot of time roading Little Blue, but Little Blue is getting it done. So even though it took me forever to get back to this farmyard, it's okay. So... I need to work with my finances a little this morning, and then I got to call the dealership. We got to lease another harvester for harvesting, because look, our beautiful oats are ready to harvest. I need to make a decision. Are we, are we going to bail this? Do we have enough time? That's a hard decision to make. All right, we'll go on here, look at the computer. I want to look at the, the weather for the week, too. So... Looks like we're going to have some pretty good weather for harvesting. Here you go. So we only have a short window right here. So I think we're not going to bother with baling because for either today or tomorrow, we're going to have to plant the soybeans in there. That's a tough window to make sometimes. So we could actually double crop corn, which is unheard of so if we harvested it today and planted right away we could double crop corn I that's rare in the states that's for sure so okay so it looks like we have one invoice to pay here pay that quickly all right that is paid and I'm gonna go back here so looks like we might have some rewards so we do have one prize here we got this this box let's open this prize box here see what we got looks like we got some moolah some more money 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 so let's see quickly if we can sell some of our grain all right, so I figured out another thing. So you see up here, I don't know if you could see it. We have 17 bales currently. So bales, so then you go to bale barns and beyond. So it looks like we could possibly vote on mods. And you know, everyone knows how I love mods. That's what makes Farming Simulator so exciting. All the mods you get to play, all the changes it does to basically the the game constantly. This class Lexion Harvester, the American Yellow style, I am definitely going to uh, put one of my uh, uh, bales in for it so there my bales went down so I redeemed a bale so hopefully I voted to you can place your vote to get this mod reviewed sooner and potentially being added so I placed a, a bale for that so I really think this is probably a good deal even though it's gonna take majority of our uh, bales here so I uh, to supported that so hopefully you have redeemed some golden bales so I don't know exactly where our uh, packages went to but hopefully they went in so we have one more so I want to do some uh, mod voting here I would think this John Deere 7R would be a good uh, Americanized uh, tractor to have here so I'm gonna put a uh, bale in for that so there we go all right, so we just got done with finances. I was trying to figure out how am I going to get down to the dealership when I don't have anybody. Who is this? Oh, farm boys showing up here. Hmm. Man, I haven't talked to farm boy in a while. Hey, farm boy, what's up? 
Hey, CBO. Welcome to the neighborhood. How you been? Good, good, good. Uh, we're just a little busy here on this farm. It's very demanding, so. Yes. Uh, I was hoping, could I possibly get you to drive the truck back? I gotta go pick up a harvester I just leased. Yes, yes I can. I got nothing else better to do. You wanna Don't fall? You wanna ride in this awesome? So this is Velocity Blue F three fifty. This is a nice truck, Chivio. How do you pay for this? Uh, I went broke paying for it basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yep. Pretty nice truck though. Yeah. So, I don't know if you know this neighborhood, so we'll show you around. So this field right on the left is actually our new field, so... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, saw, I think I saw a clutch down here the other day. Yeah, so we fertilize. I think he was fertilizing probably that, and I planted yeah. it earlier. And then, uh... Then we have this, uh... So up here, kinda on beyond the dairy. Yep, up here, and up straight ahead is where you basically if you want to play the global markets you want to transport your grain across the mm. seas or the ponds and uh, get some uh, hopefully play it's only it's challenging playing them global markets so but it is kind of it's something new and exciting so instead of just going but to you, the you co have a warehouse aren't you yep you gotta you lease them though so you just lease a warehouse but like I said it's kind of challenging because uh, it's constantly changing oh yeah it's like so. it's like anything else all right so this is our uh, the new style class that we just picked up here I don't know do you know what this this must be something new that they do because I have never oh, yeah. seen yeah, probably this from... Europe, yeah it must be uh, some new uh, guidelines that they have to follow because it looks like they have lights and flashers on there, so a little bit different. Was this? I guess it, I don't know. Is this from Europe because it's got everything Europe on it. Yeah, you know, this so is this, European. This is all European, so it still has the. You can really tell from the rear end the the oh, hazard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So and the actually the license plate, but anyways, for whatever reason, we got to lease it and we got a forty foot McDon head here to go with it so we did try they had a STS that they we tried at least last time and the STS was just not working with the McDon head so we yeah. ended up going away from that so uh, we're gonna try this one just to see maybe we'll like it maybe we'll actually purchase it I don't know you guys will have to let me know if you actually like this touch style Harvesters, I'm still partial to the American yellow. I have to say yes. so, but because they just went to this this last year, the year before. Yep. So I think it was last year actually. They just went out, which it makes business sense if you know if you follow class and everything. It's smart business, but it it takes a while to grow on you. That's for sure. Yes. All right, I'm gonna get this headed back to the farmyard. Could you drive that uh, Ford truck? You think you yes, can? Yes, I can. All right. I'd be delighted. You got me on the CB? Yes, I do. Yes, yeah. I do. Got you on CB. So uh, one of the reasons why I purchased this Harvester too is uh, the top speed, road speed on this thing. Pretty good. So. Yeah, you're rolling pretty quick here. Yep. So I'm kind of impressed by that. So I'm happy uh, I got to do this. This is one of the main reasons. If you don't know, like even a uh, farm boy's new farm over there, we are quite a ways on uh, miles, let's just say, away from the shop or the dealership. So it takes us a while roading stuff back and forth, which I guess is good for one reason. It uh, prevents us buying uh, too much equipment and wasting money.
All right, so we're pulling into our farmyard right now. So I think I'm just going to start cutting in right away, start harvesting. Like I uh, told you before, I don't think we're going to have enough time to actually bale this. Just because uh, this is a... Uh, we just we need to get our secondary crop in and bales take a while so I'm gonna unhitch this uh oh stop uh oh uh oh we got a runway uh oh uh oh oh that what? might be oh okay it stopped it just tapped it I don't, I don't think it damaged anything no I think it's good all right well good thing we're leasing it <laughs> Do you want me to hop in the 8320? Yep. So, you can, uh, you know where our wagons are over yep. to the side? Yep. Alright, it's going along here. We're gonna be going right beside our house here. I don't know exactly what bushels we are getting, but, uh, I'm just happy this thing is, uh, actually, uh, floating the head. Not like that STS was was doing. All right, so we are harvesting around here our field of oats that just was ready to harvest just a little bit ago. So uh, going around here. What? What the? What the? What are all? Oh my goodness, my oat field has been taken over by a group of horses. Look how many horses that is. Holy cow, that looks like at least 50, maybe 100 horses over there. Uh, stop eating my oats. Get off of my oats, horses. Oh man. Oh man. All right, all right, horses, stop, stop eating my oats. Stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna have to make some phone calls. These are obviously one of the neighbor's horses that got out. These are tame horses. Don't kick me, don't kick me. You're on my field. Get, eh, 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 can, can you, what? Okay, I'm gonna have to make a phone call, figure out what the heck is going on here. All right, so the neighbors showed up. They brought their horse trailers along here, which is good. They brought a few uh, four-wheelers and everything. I'm going to try to hopefully uh, corral all these up to our far into our pasture land. I, I don't know if this will work or not. I'm trying to get... Hopefully, I can get them all up in the pasture land and hopefully get them all put up. So that's why we have these four-wheelers. We've got a few guys out here. We're going to try to corral these horses. All right, horses, you're making me run over my oats. Let's get going here. All right, move it along. Move it along, horses. Move it. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Come on, come on, move it. Come on, come on, move it. Move it. Move it, buddy. Move it or lose it. Get a moving. All right, so I'm gonna have to get one of the professionals up here to help me uh, basically round these horses up because, uh, yeah, I'm not having any luck. Too bad farm boy left. He could have helped me, basically, uh, help me uh, corral these uh, horses up. But, yeah, I am not a horse whisperer by any means. But look at all that damage they're doing to our crops. We're already running on a real tight margin here. I mean, get off of our crops already. I mean, this type of stuff happens. Sometimes horses just get out. It's amazing this many horses gets out. I, I don't understand. They must have had the uh, whole fence line go down or something, or these horses just know how to talk to each other to get out of a little broken down fenced area. I don't, I don't know, but this is a lot of horses, and obviously horses 
Love oats. So they're over here eating up all my cash crop. Alright, so we're back to harvesting again after uh, all them horses got round up, but how you been? You just still uh, up there? Yeah, I'm still up here in the tractor. Alright, so I think I'm about half full, so I, I think I might go completely around to be honest, so I don't know if you have to follow me. It'd be pretty hard to follow you with three wag wagons on it. Yeah, that's definitely a unique uh, setup there, so. <laughs> Just gotta be careful driving it across uh, the highways because the police oh, officers yeah. will get you. So we're harvesting our unique field because this is we plowed this up, connected this field to... It basically goes all the way around our farmyard. Uh, these oats are ready. Our oats in our pasture land still are not ready, but we planted them a little bit later. So the reason why I want to get this these oats harvested is because we need to get some soybeans in. So we get these harvested. Hopefully we can plant right into them or into this field, uh, hopefully get a double crop, a decent double crop out of this, so. Uh, farm boy is over there, he's helping me a little bit, so uh, his farm is basically at a standstill waiting for his uh, crops to get harvested, so he's helping us out. Uh, if you don't know, farm boy and R.D. Allen took over Austin and Jake's old farm so they are the fourth team yeah the fourth team on this server yeah so right now it's just me and Clutch Grant has a humongous crew of people helping him now and then uh Spencer TV has a few people helping them out, so that's why uh, Farm Boy is helping us out a little bit, just to uh, pick up some of the slack. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I think I'm going to try to play the global market again with these oats, but we'll see. But oats really don't pay that great over here in Missouri, at least not the prices I've seen, so... I think all the prices over here are pretty darn bad. Yeah, they they don't look like they go up very far, very fast, but you definitely have to sell them in the right seasons. I like playing the global markets, definitely a little bit challenging. It's almost like a strategy game, so. That's why I like FSN. It kind of made Farm Simulator way more strategy-ized, if that makes any sense, so. Farm Sim is obviously already strategy to a certain point. You don't really have to pay it, play it as strategy game, but uh, it could be, especially if you hard start or something like that. But uh, FSN did it, made it more strategy wise. That's probably why me and Clutch were pretty broke there for a while too, because <laughs> we did not strategy the farm properly at first. Farm boy, I'm not gonna make it, but I think right. if you pull on the back of the bins. Yeah, I'd... that's where I was planning on going. That's where he was parked there, but I was like, if you can make it around, no point. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I think my 85%. Oh. Yeah. Now I have to figure out how to get around. Oh, man. Make this a little easier and take out one of the gravity wagons. Two of them, actually. Yeah. So what, do you think it'll hold the whole combine in one? Yeah, it will. Should. Okay. Be better run over here because farm boy is racing around the field. <laughs> Pretty rough riding. It's not like the big grain cart I run where the pin, the pin is so small on the big grain cart. Every time you stop, it slams in the slams you in your seat. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, because small pin on a on the on the big hole on the tractor. Let's 
The only thing I really don't like about this harvester, it's kind of hard to see the spout from end cap here, but... Or the unload auger, so... What do you guys run? Farm well, where I work, we have a, we actually are just trading up from the S660 that we have to a uh, big uh, S780. This class isn't that bad. It's not as nice as that uh, S780, that clutch head lease, but it's fairly good. Don't mind it. Don't know if we'll end up buying, purchasing this one just for the fact that I think I prefer the old John Deere STS or the 780 more. But yeah, with that, you could probably put that head, that night the end game head on it. It'd probably work just fine. Yeah. Farm boy's gonna load unload us on the goal. Little gravity wagons. Doing fairly good so far, so we're getting pretty good crops for this is by far our second smallest field, so it's not that big, even though it goes around. There's not a lot of acres in this little area. But so far so good. We're making pretty good uh bushels off of these oats, which I wasn't really expecting too much, but you don't want to expect a lot from double crops, but Hopefully we get enough so we can put in the uh, soybeans, summer soybeans. So we're on the back side here on this field, so uh, farm boy, I'm going to go over there and unload on him. So I'm going to take another round on this field. Unloading into the last hopper. I think we still have a little bit more in the center hopper there we have to fill up. All right, we're unloaded there, so almost full. Yeah, I've still got a ways to go until I'm full. I'm at 67%. Looks like I missed a few little spots right there. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go pick them up, but filling up, making fairly good time. So I think we've been harvesting for just about an hour or so, so not too bad. So I'm hoping I can still get, basically get this harvested, get this harvester cleaned up, and then uh, park it and hook up to the planter and plant beans like right behind it. So if everything gets ready tomorrow, we might have to put little blue on, just have pull on one and have the dealer tractor planting. Yeah, so I think it's, I think that's why I initially got a little blue to help pull. I figure it could at least pull three. That's why I bought three uh, <laughs> wagons, but. All right, we're just going to stop here and unload into a uh, farm boy just because I got to make a sharp turn and he's going to have a hard time following me for that, so. Unload is... This is our last, so the first and the second gravity wagon are completely full, so 
I don't know if we're gonna fill it up, all three, but it's gonna be close. Can't really Very. see from there. I'm up to 90% full all the way. Oh yeah, so we'll get, I don't think we're gonna get 100%, but we'll get close. So this is our last little strip right here. We are done. We're gonna complete this, go unload into Farm Boy, and then I need to unhook that tractor and hook it onto the planter, get it set right away, and plant some soybeans. Man, are we busy today. What's up, Farm Boy? Nothing much. I put the header over here in this shed over here. All right, appreciate it. So uh, I think uh, I'm gonna park these and I'm gonna get right into the planter, but thanks for your help, by the way. Oh, no problem. Much appreciated. All right, so uh, of course we gotta get this field planted so uh, we can uh, pick up where we left off with all them horses that were uh, eating all of our oats. We kinda lost a lot of crop for all them horses, but it is what it is. We lost the crop. We're gonna have to pick up where we left off and uh, deal with it, I guess. Make sure you all check out Farm Boy's YouTube channel. The link will be in the description. He will should be posting FSN content also if you'd like to check that out. Like I said, it will be in the description. So uh, we we took a break to eat some munch because we've been busy all day long. Uh, actually, Farm Boy took over the planter over there. He's helping plant right now, so uh, much appreciated from him. So hopefully he'll get that the remaining stuff planted. And uh, ooh, did he just break down? Something must have happened up there. Uh oh. Hopefully he's all right. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here on the FSN Tournament. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.